everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. It's spooky season, which uh, might mean something to you, but to me, as an Australian, it means about as much as the YouTube notification bell. It, it means nothing. Nothing at all. Subscribe! In Australia, Halloween is not a thing. It's, it's not a thing. I've never been trick-or-treating, never carved a pumpkin or sipped on a pumpkin spiced anything. The closest I've ever come to experiencing Halloween was uh, going to a friend's house when I was 16 on the 31st of October to watch Paranormal Activity. She had fake spider webs hanging from the ceiling and some cardboard spiders cut out. The scariest thing about that party was probably the costumes that we thought we could get away with when we were 16. I'm not surprised that her dad didn't want to come downstairs. Halloween parties seem to be a great excuse to... How can I put this nicely? Um, flaunt what your mama gave you? Now, seeing as I won't be partaking in any Halloween festivities this year, I decided to leave the costume choices up to you guys. So this is another episode of Your Weeby, which is You Wanted It, I Bought It. I went to Twitter. You can follow me over there. It's Pretty Pastel PLS. So I went to Twitter and I said to everyone, hey, Dolls Kill is offering me some stuff to review for Halloween. So send me the items that you want me to review. I'll pick a couple of them. And uh, that's how I ended up with this pile that I have here in front of me. Last time I did a collab with Dolls Kill, they actually sponsored me. They paid me to make that video, which is funny because normally it's me wanting to throw money at them. But this time, They've just given me the clothes for free, there's no money involved. We've kind of come to an arrangement that if I want to make a whole video, I can just email them a list of things that I want and they'll give them to me, so they're not going to pay me to make videos, but it means that I get to pick whatever I want. Now I do make affiliate money from any sales generated, so if you use any of the links in my description box to buy any of the costumes you see today, I'll make some affiliate money off it. Now I never let that sway the way that I talk about things, I'm not going to pretend something's better than it is just to make you guys buy it. I'll always give you guys my honest opinion, so you don't have to worry about that, nothing spooky going on here. So with that, let's get into it. Mate, are you okay? What's the matter? I think he's ashamed. Are you sad that there's no Halloween in Australia? The first thing is something that I don't really need any occasion to want to wear. This costume represents something that I've wanted to be all my life. A character that means so much to me. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. <laughs> to catch them is my real test. Train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. You know it's a destiny. Oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. How courage will pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you. Pokemon! So this is called the Beast Trainer, not Pokemon Trainer. Couldn't afford that trademark. The package includes a dress, a hat, a belt, a backpack and gloves. On the Dolls Kill website, it is called the Catch Em All Babe Costume. It is 65 US dollars, which to me is a... Uh, it's, it's, that's a fair bit. Not gonna lie, that, that's... I think that's expensive. That being said, I do love Pokemon. Eh! Okay, alright, fine. It's, it's too expensive. But that being said, <laughs> I do love Pokemon. So I would highly recommend it if you have that sort of money to throw around. It's made totally fine. The quality of the gloves, they're just very, very basic. The hat, the hat feels, yeah, maybe like it's worth 10 bucks, maybe? The dress itself is pretty stretchy. I'm quite happy with the dress. It's quite flattering. I got this in my size and the dress fits okay, but the belt is just way too small. It just doesn't fit right. So I would potentially say size up in it and that'll give you a little bit more length too because it is quite short. But aside from that, I would, if I was rating this, if we were going to rate this with a, a score system of, let's say, almonds, I would give this maybe like 7 out of 10 almonds. 
How many almonds would you give it? This next outfit is something that I've been wanting to try for a very, very long time. Mostly because I'm unoriginal and I always tend to go for characters that have red hair. You know, Ariel, Jean Grey, Sansa Stark, Princess Merida, and of course, Poison Ivy. <laughs> well, I may have been bullied in school for having red hair, but hey, it pays off now, huh? This poisonous villain costume includes a dress, a headpiece, and fingerless gloves. Get away, get away. Now for $80, you would want this costume to be pretty good. So I'm gonna have to really, really critique it because that's expensive. Now I must say, the dress is really, really cute. I love the fact that it has these little leaf trimmings all over it. That's amazing. And the gloves also have them too. They're really, really nice. Archie. No, no, no. The gloves have these tiny, tiny little finger holes and my fingers really, really don't fit. I did look at the pictures and it looks as though you are supposed to put that on your middle finger, but it's just, it's just, it's just way too tight. So either wear it without putting your fingers through that or just, just hope that your fingers are gonna fit. But Archie, no, no. So here's what it looks like all the way around. It is very, very short. Like that is so short, but I suppose it wouldn't really be a Halloween costume unless it was showing my bum, right? Archie absolutely approves. He cannot believe his eyes. I, I don't know whether it's just because it's green or maybe also because it's shiny. Can you, no, 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 no. Mummy's busy. I do feel like this is the costume of my dreams because I think it's really, really flattering. The fit is amazing, like the fit is perfect. It's falling down a tiny little bit here, but that's mostly because I don't really have any boobs to support it. No, no, not for eating. It's funny because I was kind of saying that the Pokemon costume was a little bit much for... Yeah, I was saying it was a little bit much for 60 something dollars. And yet I think that this is totally worth it for 80. But that's because this is super, super fitting. I'm so happy with the way that this fits. It is so flattering. It's basically the costume that I've always wanted. I'm the tiniest bit hesitant about this little tiny slit here. It's a little tiny bit short. Ah! And you can basically uh, see right up there. So you would have to be a little bit careful of that. Maybe if you wanted to have a little DIY project, you could potentially sew some black lace or something at the bottom, and or you could just wear some shorts on the inside. It's totally up to you. Either way, I think that this costume is definitely Archie approved, that's for sure. This next costume probably represents a lot of our mums from the 80s. It's the classic Jazzercise costume, and I have the perfect way of testing it out. And right, and left, that's good! And up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, you're doing great! <laughs> What's she saying? I don't know, man. she's making a handbag over here. <laughs> right, left, right, left. <laughs> like this one. I knocked everything. It's great. It's a good costume. So this one is called the Aerobics Queen costume set. Now this is huge. This comes with a lot. So this came with the bodysuit, which I'm wearing, the belt, the bra, the headband, the wristbands, the leg warmers, and the tights. For that much stuff, and this was $86. Now, again, $86 is a lot, but I'm telling you what, this one is worth it. Forget what I said about the other two, save your money for this, because the quality of this, this sort of bodysuit thing, it actually feels so nice, like it's made really, really well. The belt is really, really steady as well, it's just like a Velcro belt that you just peel off. The wristbands, the headband, the bra, oh my gosh, this bra, this bra is literally a proper bra. It's not just like a costume bra, it's a proper bra. I could properly wear this if I wanted to, so... I could not fold this. Look, it's like the leg warmers and everything. I feel, I feel so.
so legit. I feel so authentic right now. I might actually be partially tempted to exercise. Just partially. Actually, no, nothing could possibly tempt me to exercise in any way, shape or form. But hey, wishful thinking. My next costume is basically a uh, representation of me when Shane Dawson finishes his Jake Paul series. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm literally deceased. So this one is great. It is so comfortable. I actually was very, very shocked when I put it on because the material is so nice against my skin. It's a little tiny bit stretchy, but the problem is the arms are so long, which is a problem that I don't usually encounter. Normally sleeves come up to here on me because I have quite long arms, but these ones, maybe it's purposefully like this. I'm not entirely sure. It's got a very open back on it. Ow! more sexy than what I'm used to wearing, but luckily for me, this costume isn't actually meant to be worn in the light. It's supposed to be worn in the dark. Meme review. I know you probably can't see it too well in the dark, but this costume for $38, I think that this is great. Now, I actually only pulled this out of the parcel about half an hour ago, and I've only let it sit under the lights in my bedroom for half an hour. So I think that if you put this in the daylight for maybe an hour or two, it would charge up fully. The UV light makes the glow material magic work better. I don't know how that works. Science, science has gone too far, but <laughs> Basically, if you let this charge up longer, it would be way brighter. I think for $38, this costume is awesome, and it came in a whole bunch of different variations too. Long sleeves, short sleeves, actual pants, not just garters, all sorts of things. So check these glowing ones out, they're actually pretty good. Last but not least, one of my most highly requested costumes of all. I am Pretty Pastel of the House YouTube, first of her name the unbothered by haters, queen of the almonds, Khaleesi of the great rainbow wardrobe, breaker of budgets, and mother of birds. I think this is insane. This, this is literally, hands down, the coolest costume I could have ever asked for. I'm shook. To be honest, when I saw it on the website, I was like, no way. Like, no way. I did not think that this would look anywhere near as good as it actually does. It feels great. This part is actually... It's actually textured, so it kind of feels like scales here. I'm not such a huge fan of the fact that, you know, this is all open like that. Like, that's just a little bit too much exposure for me. But it is Halloween, and like I said, kind of feel like Halloween is all about flaunting what your mama gave you, right? I don't know if I would really feel comfortable going out. You know what? If I was going to a party that was in a public place, I would feel so awkward getting from the taxi to the venue. I would just, I don't think I could do it. But if it was like just going to someone's house, if I was just driving to someone's house, getting out of the car and just going straight into their house, yeah, maybe I would feel comfortable wearing this. The wig is sold separately. The costume itself without the wig is $48. I definitely think that's worth it because it's structured really, really well. I'm not wearing a bra with this and it feels really comfortable, like it's holding me in really well and I actually don't feel like... I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out of it or slip out of it at any point, so that's really, really good. This is nice, very flowy and m magical. The wig is $28. I suppose if you really, really want to complete the look... With the outfit and the wig then yeah go for it i actually think i would feel more confident and comfortable with my own hair i could be a cross between daenerys and sansa you know with the red hair but the khaleesi outfit surely that would work right <laughs> archie what do you think about me with blonde hair do you like it i don't know what i think about the blonde wig it feels very comfortable it's very very big like in the head it's quite big there's a lot of room in there for my hair so that's good it's not very tight it's very long like look how long this is i absolutely feel like the mother of dragons right now dan and sam are out there watching the shane series right now i'm gonna call them <laughs> am i meant to be carl drogo yes you're carl drogo my sun and stars come here what do you think really cool. You like it? Yeah. How much do you think it was? The wig is separate. Okay. Uh, maybe 30 bucks. 30 bucks, he says. $30. Boys know nothing. 
Jon Snow. Sorry, it's a costume, so mm. 70 to 85 Australian dollars. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. yeah, it's about, I think it was like 45 US, which is probably 60 something Australian. Do I bring out my Game of Thrones? <gasps> I completely forgot. We have legit Game of Thrones uh, memorabilia right here. Who do I stab with this? Bran, can you take this? and snatch my own wig. You're my friend. Bend the knee. No, you stop eating. Wait, let's stop. take let's take a family photo. <laughs> Sam, come here. Break the chains. Break Archie, the chains. Archie, let's snatch Sam's wig. You will do no such thing. No, no. I am fire. I am, I am queen. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite costume was. I'm also going to put a couple of my favorites in the description box below. If you uh, decide to buy any of them, we'll make some commission. So, hey, if you need a Halloween costume and you want to support our channel, have a little look-see in the description box. Shout out to everyone that left a comment on my Twitter post. I always love seeing what you guys come up with. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you also want to take part in the next Weeby episode that's coming up. It's probably going to be Fashion Nova or something like that. If you have any places that you want me to review, just let me know down below. Thank you so much Dolls Kill for sending me these outfits. Thank you you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you have already. Thank you for uh, subscribing if you do it right now. Just the button it's just down there just just look there's a green bird on this channel why not subscribe so with that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time Mwah. someone can't believe that it's green <laughs> <laughs>